Two former South Carolina Mitsubishi car dealership employees plead guilty to lender fraud conspiracy charges. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, a longtime car buyer's advocate known as the homework guy, joined today by the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, the details of this story. It's like these two clowns stole the page right <laughs> out of Andy Elliott's Big Red Dealership Playbook. Yes, it is quite similar. According to Automotive News, authorities said a former general manager and finance manager misled lenders at their Charleston, South Carolina Mitsubishi car dealership with phony trade-ins or by misrepresenting automakers' rebates to fraudulently improve customer creditworthiness in the eyes of the lender. Okay, let me get this straight. A warm, cozy relationship between a GM and a finance manager. Right. So a former general manager, just like the position Andy Elliott held at the Big Red dealership that was permanently closed and who the other partners went to federal prison, and a finance manager both had their hands in the cookie jar. Yep, this is kind of like Andy Elliott's love affair with Courtney Wells, the lady holding the purse strings behind the scenes at Big Red. Due to the email leaks out of the Big Red dealership, We've got proof that not only was Andy Elliott defrauding lenders the whole time at Big Red Dealership, but he was cheating on his wife, Jacqueline, too. So go ahead, Andy, deny this and dare us to share those nasty emails with our viewers. So two former South Carolina Mitsubishi dealership employees accused of a two-year scheme to mislead lenders about customers' creditworthiness have pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud and bank fraud and making false statements to financial institutions. Sean Rustin had served as general manager at then Hoover Mitsubishi, now used vehicle dealership Carfare Charleston from an unspecified time in 2013 to August 2018. Kentrell Davis had worked as Hoover Mitsubishi's finance manager from November 2015 to April 2018. According to authorities, both men scammed the store's partner lenders from January 2016 to April 2018. Rustin pleaded guilty to the single fraud conspiracy count on July 28th, and Davis pleaded guilty August 17th. Rustin and Davis could each face up to five years in prison and a fine of up to $250,000. According to authorities, Rustin and Davis produced two contracts on vehicle sales, an accurate one for the dealership and a fraudulent one for the lender, to make Hoover Mitsubishi's customers seem more creditworthy. The deceptive contracts would either feature a phantom trade-in vehicle or a down payment, which was just a manufacturer rebate, authorities said. In a June 2019 application for a search warrant for Hoover Mitsubishi, FBI Special Agent Joseph Hamsky said such schemes were intended to help customers with no credit or bad credit. Hamsky said the fake trade-ins fooled lenders into offering lower interest rates. Hoover Mitsubishi would pass part of the savings on, but keep some for the higher dealer reserve margin, he said. Rustin also faked down payment receipts, bank statements, pay stubs, utility bills, and other documents to convince lenders to finance vehicle sales to Hoover Mitsubishi's customers, authorities said. You know what's interesting about all this? Dealers can rip off the general public all they want with little attention from the authorities, but rip off the banks and you are in deep doo-doo. Ain't that the truth? Uh-huh. Davis attorney Ann Walsh, assistant federal public defender for the U.S. District of South Carolina, said she was unable to comment on pending cases. Rustin's attorney has not yet returned an email inquiry seeking comment. All of the schemes helped Hoover Mitsubishi sell more vehicles, leading to rebates from the automakers that were divided among employees. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just like defrauding banks helped Andy Elliott sell a bunch of cars at big red dealerships. Yes, exactly. A confidential witness admitted that more sales were achieved when the parties involved fabricated the vehicle sales and loan contracts, Hamsky wrote. He said the witness estimated Hoover Mitsubishi typically sold 50 to 60 vehicles monthly, with approximately 30 of the sales involving some form of fraud. Like half of the deals. Oh my gosh. The federal investigation into Hoover Mitsubishi also resulted in civil litigation against the two men in August 2019, when Carfare Charleston sued Rustin and Davis. Carfare said in its civil complaint that owner Mark Hoover did not know about or approve of the duo's behavior and was misled by them about the nature of paperwork they presented for his signature. The company said its relationship with lenders had been jeopardized and it became the target of a criminal investigation, an issue that created new expenses for the company, including having to pay for a criminal defense. You know, I have a little bit of a hard time believing that the owner didn't know about this. Right. But anyway. Rustin countersued Carfare and sued Hoover Mitsubishi and co-workers Dwayne Ladson and William Dockendorf in October 2019. 
Rustin alleged he relied on Hoover's promises the store was following proper procedure and said he was told at a meeting attended by Hoover and accounting personnel that it was fine to represent rebates and dealer cash as down payments. Rustin also said Hoover failed to act on the concerns Rustin had expressed about Ladson and Dockendorf, whom he alleged were misleading lenders. Dockendorf denied any improper behavior. It's kind of what I was talking about. Yeah. Ultimately, nearly all of the parties dropped the cases and counter cases against their respective defendants. With Rustin's complaint against Ladson, the only civil dispute left unresolved in South Carolina State Court. Ladson failed to respond to the lawsuit and was declared in default by the court. Rustin has petitioned the court to award him over 40000 in attorney's fees and costs from Ladson. As of this report, Ladson has not yet responded to an August 25th email request for comment. Remember, friends, when it comes to car buying assistance from the Homework Guide team, you should expect the first call directly from Kevin or me, okay? We've been in touch with our friends on the ground in Florida, and we are ready to continue connecting you to car deals in that state. And that's our show for today, friends. We hope you got great value out of this and hope we inspired you to continue being patient and wait for us to get to you. We'll continue to connect you anxious car buyers out there with better dealers. As we said recently, we now also have used cars as an option and it's quickly expanding to more states than just Florida. Keep in mind that we can get you a better deal than you're likely to get on your own. For those of you just entering the car market, you should be aware of all the free resources we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. By the way, if you feel so inclined to show us some appreciation with a donation today, Forget about doing tips anymore. Seriously, we've abandoned the tip process and removed those links from our description box. We much prefer that you donate to our nonprofit to help kids. An online option has been set up on Give, Send, Go, and all credit cards or bank cards are currently accepted. The link is appearing on the screen and can be found in that description box down below. On our website, thehomeworkguide.com, you'll find a free car buyer's guide there and free email templates to use with car dealers. There's also a list of fake fees. It's all there on thehomeworkguy.com, free for you to download to use when car shopping. On our website and on our Facebook page is where we will announce the launch of the call center that we mentioned the other day. Totally looking forward to that. We are also excited to say that we are very close to launching the opportunity for memberships here on YouTube. The memberships will allow for much improved access to both me and Kevin, and we do really enjoy direct contact with our viewers. More on that soon. And Kevin, we should also take this opportunity to remind people that we are in the process of writing a book for car buyers with the help of a new staff member, and it will be soon published as an ebook. That's right. It will be the best car buyer's manual ever published, and we're getting the direct involvement of a man who has spent the last decade working directly with dealers and knows their business model inside and out. Even more importantly, he knows exactly where the car market is right now and has useful tools you can use to win on your next car deal. As you can see, there's high value in hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. Subscribing is free and painless to you, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did here for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team and our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.